Okay. Dann schauen wir mal. See if this works. What? Okay. Dann schauen. Good. Welcome, everyone, to today's live stream. Let me just open up Able Live here so you can see my city. <laughs> Come. Okay. Yeah, today today's a quick spontaneous live stream. I didn't do one as I usually do on Sunday because yesterday was not not inspirational day for me. So today is going to be live stream day. Yeah, anyway, I hope you all are doing well. Prepared myself a nice little tea here. And I feel like just putting together something very soothing, something very relaxing. And honestly, I had this idea to start with a YouTube channel that I have been enjoying a lot recently. I think it was called like Lucid, oh gosh. Lucid Poly Rhythms. Something like that. Yeah. I wanted to sample this and make some kind of an organic house thing from it. But the video is four hours long, so I had to find a way to uh, record the audio. Yeah. Like this kind of a this kind of a vibe and I installed this software well <laughs> software called rewind which allows you to record your desktop audio quickly and import it into Ableton Live you can practically do the same with audacity but I find this to be a bit more intuitive in terms of workflow so let's give it a try I'm just gonna hit record and see if we can now play and if it records the audio Now it's recording system audio. Just gonna let it run through a bit and see if I can come up with anything interesting here. Let me just double check if my stream is live. Yes, it is live. Bitrate, blah, blah. I'm phone a bit rate. Okay. Let's just see how this works. No idea. Maybe one more chord. Yeah. Maybe one more chord. Yeah, if, if you're into like meditational chill music or just music that you can listen to while working, then check out this channel, Lucid Rhythms. I believe it's some guy from Germany as well who created this channel who's like into C++ and co codes his own devices and whatnot. Created this algorithmic little polyrhythm thing, which is just lovely. One more chord. Okay, one more. One more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's good. That's a nice chord to end it all. End it on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So if I want to import the audio, I'm going to open up Ableton Live and preferably make sure that this window is... Is it not pinned to the top? Um, let's see. Okay, then I'm gonna have to open Ableton Live in this mode here. 
So then I'll be able to take the entire audio snippet from start to finish. And, oh. Start to finish. You gotta hold it when dragging it and just import it into live. Gonna minimize this window right here. Oh yeah, I forgot to open up the chat. Let me just open that up real quick. Who do we have in the chat today? Let's see. We got Mirko Krüger. Hello, hello aus Berlin. Willkommen. We got Nirmal. Hi. Ambrosia, welcome back to the stream. Looking forward to this, mate. Thank you so much. Northern Solace, welcome. Nice to see you in the stream again. Bietest du auch live coaching via Videokonferenz an? Nee, zurzeit nicht. Ambrosia. Oh yeah, I love these animations. You could probably do it with the loopback feature on your audio interface if it has one. Unfortunately, mine doesn't have one. So no. Evening Herbert, what's up, man? I wish you would eventually release this software. It's just beautiful to get lost making polyrhythms this way. Nice chord to end it all too. <laughs> Cutter God, what's up? Yeah. I really wish that he would release that software as well. It's really, really cool. But I don't I don't think he will. <laughs> It's, it's kind of like his, his secret weapon, I guess. Anyway, I have this little loop that I just recorded from that YouTube video. And now I feel like I could turn that into something um, organic-y. Let's see. So, it's a bit of a quiet recording. Probably should have recorded it a bit louder. Let's see if we can just tune it up here. Maybe the input gain is... Right, and I'll also load a utility on my master channel so you can hear everything better. Utility. I always type utility instead of utility. Okay. Let's see if this is. Yeah, this is okay. 60p. Ich hab's mal angeboten. Mirko just asked me if I do live coachings and I said currently not. And he was like, currently, oh, okay, so I'll get back to that. I decided not to go with coachings. I did that for like half a year, but I realized that it took too much time and depleted my energy more than I thought it would. So I stopped that and I focused more on YouTube videos. And, you know, as a creative, it's really important to maintain your ener energy levels. And if you keep on giving constantly, it's, um, yeah, it's, for, for me personally, it takes takes a lot more energy than it gives me. It's really fulfilling to be able to um, guide somebody in his or her musical journey. But it takes a lot of, like, you know, I'm somebody who puts in everything. I want really... Um, for them to to gain benefit so yeah that mostly results in me feeling a bit too depleted so that's why i said that on pause maybe i'll do it in the future with somebody um, to assist me like a friend or something that it could help me out with with coachings um Bird System Audio Bridge is a nifty tool to loop back if you lack loop back on your interface. Hmm. Haven't tried that one. Nirmal. Yeah, I just wanted to put this one through the granular. <laughs> Normal. Um, let's just put this one in here. Let's see if we can get some granular loop going or maybe just take the chord progression as is. Depends on what I feel like going. And I, I bought this overly freaking expensive tool that I somewhat regret purchasing because it's just way too expensive. Um, too expensive toy. But I... How do I hide these? I really like it nonetheless. View. Uh, rack view. View, single view. Yeah, I'm not really sure why this native instruments thing is not giving me the default other view. Do you guys know what I'm saying? Like there's two views. There's this view and the other side 
panel view thing. I don't know why it's not switching over, but yeah, let's see if we can, um, was it landforms? Was it, no, it was cycles, cycles, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Now it loads up. This view is much more pleasant to look at, if you ask me. Uh, cycles is some kind of like a weird granular thing. A bit more advanced than... Like sequencing samples and granulizing them, to put it short. You got this loop mode and you get this G. Like loop is for sequences. G is for Gs. <laughs> it's for granular stuff. But I'm just going to give a few instruments a try here. So I'll load up the granulator as well, which is my favorite granular synth, like of all time. And it's for free, which is why it's just double amazing. I imagine putting the granular synth. Uh, click on file. Yeah, but I think it crashed my session for some reason. Maybe not. Maybe it just took a bit of time to load. Yeah. So we got... Oops. Uh. Now you can just take the sample and put it into a certain key slot. I'm going to choose C4. And try to play this on my keyboard. See if it gives me any sound. It does not because it's on the... Is it on the right key? Let me just jump octaves here. There we go. So C4. Now I can just try messing around with this thing here. This tool is really intensely versatile and I haven't understood it fully yet. I can create so many weird stuff with this. It's not giving me any sound when I turn on latch. Okay, so I have to click on C4. Okay, now if I hit on latch, it plays the note even though I let it go. Okay. Sounds so random though. And I can go back into grains mode. Mess around with these things here. The grain shape. Scales. Jesus. <laughs> Literally just out of control. <laughs> It's supposed to be really powerful, but as always, the things that are really powerful are kind of hard to get into. I don't know why it's so pitchy now. Can I try to re-import the sample and start from scratch somehow? That'd be great. I cannot. Okay, let me just reload it then. Contact. Contact 7. So, view, rack view. View. Mm-mm-mm. Uh, does anybody know how to start directly with the rack view of contact like this view over here because i find it to be pretty annoying this this other view this one's much more overview ish Opa. view zoom 75 percent so take the entire sample put it onto the user source c4 there we go. So now it plays the entire loop, right? 
from start to finish as we recorded it. Or at least within this four bar grid. What if we change it to 16? Here we go. Birds looping sampler. Purchased presets into Diva on Mac, same way you would on Windows. Hamza Malik, what's up? Are you familiar with Amy Ka? Can you do a track in his style? I have no idea who that is, unfortunately. Hi, Alice. Yeah, Ambrosia is right about the Diva presets. It's really simple. Same for Windows and for Mac. You just go into presets. I mostly save my presets that are by other companies into the user folder. Just right click, open in Finder, and then it'll show you your default location here. And just copy paste your sounds into the recording folder. It's really that easy. And and on Windows, it's not show in Finder, it's open in browser or something else. Yeah. Really trying to not mess up the signal here. This is two. It's a freak. Yeah, in Windows, it's called Explorer, exactly. Show in Explorer. way too in-depth this thing way too in-depth so many different modes <laughs> and i don't know how to get back <laughs> to the original sound it was just so fun to mess around with though okay, so we got poly mode right now Sequence are on. What if we turn it off? Now it's in forward mode. And why is it not going backwards? Okay. And the effects. just gonna resample this because if I start tweaking too much it'll just turn into a full-on one hour only that plug-in stream so I'm just gonna resample whatever I just touched in there okay so let's just um, make sure that we get a long enough recording I'll just put this way back here and now we got the audio coming into track 7 from contact 7 track 6 okay Wait, let me not manually record it in. Let me just put in a long MIDI note so it starts on the one. Uh. All right. I'm just going to drag it in its length over here and hit legato so it plays to the end and make sure that we have a higher velocity and record. Oops. Make sure to record arm only the resampling track. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, oh, good idea, good idea. Bring down the tempo a bit. Sure. 20 BPM okay? Yeah. <laughs> 117. Let's go for 117. What is your top three contact libraries? Libraries. Good question, my man. I just got this one new, Session Percussionists. Bought it like a little freaking fanboy. <laughs> so top three, number one, Shimmer Shake and Strike 2. Number two, Sequis. Number three. Mm. Yeah, Ethno World 6 Instruments. Those are my top three. Shimmer, Shake, and Strike by far number one, though. Because of the shaker sounds. Okay, I think that's enough. Was it four bars, or how many bars do we have now? I think it start, restarted after eight bars. We got this loop over here. Yeah, let's see. I might end up using it, might not, but it's a really good starting point for some ambient stuff. And I think I did call this stream relaxing, relaxing Monday stream. So I believe this is a nice melodic little foundation that we have here. How about we do try adding the chords from the original though. So we have a chord progression going. Which chords did I like the most? So let's just get the high end frequencies from here. We already have enough highs in the upper sample there we go okay that's a bit too much that chord over there so I'm gonna try to make something work from that John Hopkins. This album, Music for Psychedelic Therapy, helped me through some really fucking hard ass times. Really, really nice album. For anyone wanting to find some nice meditation music, I recommend listening to John Hopkins, especially his newer stuff. Music for Psychedelic Therapy, really, really awesome album. Sounds really trippy, the name of the album, but I really like it, though. Only now at the world have to check the others out. Hi, a hand. Hi, Fred Federico. From Argentina. Nice to see you, man. Very trippy. Nice. Yeah. Is it loud enough for the stream? I hope so. in any way. I don't want to warp the audio here. So we got a ton of different chords. Now it's just about finding it. You know what, instead of having that annoying little click track in the background, let me add some type of kick just to have a rhythmic little 
foundation, something that I can adapt the chords to. What type of sample pack do I want to go with today? Maybe like a really soft kick. I don't want anything too harsh today. Today's going to be a relaxed vibe. So let's go for And one of my most used kicks, I think, is an afro somewhere. Um, um, um. Or what was it? My go to. It's called go to the kick. Oh, kind of. Let's just see. Guess like that that one Victor kick that I keep getting back to for some weird reason. I've used it in two of my tracks already. It's a really cheap MP3 kick, but it's worked well. It's worked really well for me so far. It was just some kind of shortened 808 kick or something like that. And I'm too too attached to it. I'm just going to use this, just crank up the volume a bit. Let's see, 4x4, four four. Uh, wrong track, yeah. Here, just overall really, really balanced kick. Small knock is also good. start adjusting so how about we take this guy over here pull it up front I'll get some drums going on in a second nice um, where does it start here <laughs> okay, this is our third chord, so... Moin aus Nordhorn? <laughs> Kudos from Romania. Nice to have you here, man. Nice. How many bars are this? Four bars. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Set a cut here. in very very well because those polyrhythms in between dum, 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 dum. they're never consistent so it doesn't really matter where I chop the sample then we're gonna go into four bars one two three four and then put it right here choppy but I don't think that matters too much yeah today I'm on a on a sampling vibe for sure
basically all we got. Reverse texture in the ads that's in those highs is beautiful. start from the
the sound is somewhat clean. to the sides maybe a bit more Let's see it's coming so much at the middle usually like those higher frequency bits i like to put on the sides more satisfying step by step today. Nice shaker-ish type hi-hat. Maybe we can sh forge it a bit more. Let's see. later go here Turn that into something weird. I don't know. Resampling solo, record arm. Some kind of ear candy. Can make it rhythmical by turning into beats. Forward transient. Sixteenth, uh, maybe. That's nice. Uh, smack in some of those effects that we used previously. I know I'm being lazy with the return channels and all. I'm not using return channels. It's okay with me. Maybe you can loop that up somehow. Let's loop this. Just deciding is do I want more mid or more of the highs to come in? Where does the sound have its character? Now at this point I feel like I'm just making it quiet. So the EQ really isn't doing that much. 
might as well just tune down the track in its entirety. Because if you're doing EQ moves like this, like this, this isn't doing any EQing. This is just making the overall signal quieter. So might as well just tune it down, you know? Maybe push it out with OTT. After the reverb and delay, makes it really sparkly. Should we go for 80 BPM or 117 BPM? More towards the mid highs? Sure. I assume you mean... Okay, since my levels are getting really quiet, I'm going to do some quick mixing here. Don't want to tune up the master too much. Let's leave it at 5 dB. focus in on that drum groove a bit more. too sharp. A violin or flute would bang so hard. Yeah, I probably would. I don't know if that's the vibe that I'm aiming for and we'd like chucking one for the background I don't even know what key this is in da. Major. 
Okay, how do I proceed? Some kind of a clap. Or you could really chuck in that flute. Nice to have you here, man. Thank you. This is not an A major, this track. I don't know what key it is. I honestly don't know what key it is. Go for some kind of omnisphere sample in a second, though. Let's see. I feel like I need a more percussive groove in the background. guys Ableton Live has these clips that go along with every drum rack which can be great for inspiration F sharp minor says Tony Wood F sharp minor created these synths. Really fun. I think I also made a video on it a while ago. How was that again? I think Razer, I used Razer or something. of the track though.
some random packs here. Yeah, it's A major. Pretty sure. I'm gonna stand up really quick, guys. Oh, the second one doesn't fit so well, right? Is it da -da -da -da? still see me well. <laughs> okay. Yeah, these exotic refreshment packs are pretty cool. Yeah, we can create that ourselves though. Anything to get my inspiration going helps. Oh, there we got our flute. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm going to have to set these up on a return channel because I realized that I'm using these on every single track. So super plate's going to be return A. And um, delay, Echo Boy Jr. is going to be track B. Just delete both of these. Set them to 100% dry wet because return effects are always set to 100% dry wet. I mean 100% wet. There we go. Now we don't need to use them on every track. Let's maybe pitch it a perfect fifth down. Or maybe up. tells me it's time for some ear candy stuff. So it seems to be A major. This was the flute, yeah? This? Yeah, this is... We already have that. Too much. Nice. We can take that beginning there. Chuck it in here somewhere as a ear candy. just at the beginning of the loop somewhere this little guy take him chuck him in here put him onto our return channels sorry Sorry, but this flute sounds kind of off. <laughs>
perfect fit up. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, six, seven. Studio, no, currently don't have it installed on this PC. I'm really enjoying the Ableton workflow. this to my MIDI controller so I can um, turn it on and off. So if I tune the knob up, I want it to be on, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go like this. Yep. I can control the low cut any time. but already got used to it. Yeah, I was used to FL Studio for the first few years as well. But then I got used to Aolden. <laughs> uh, use whatever DAW you like, man. Whatever suits your workflow best. There is no the best DAW. Thank you, Ambrosia. Good night. Creating drum fills. Yeah. There's a video of mine that has it on it on the thumbnail. It shows uh, better than ear candy. And I think the title of it is like how to come up with percussion grooves. With interesting percussion grooves. Watch that. Sean says we need toms. Yeah, definitely. I'm 
looking for. sound goes on and off, which is kind of annoying. vocal and toms. Let's see if we can... There was this one clip that I heard previously that I kind of liked. Clip, 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 clip. in there. Some Kalkbrenner-ish type toms. So, it's really lazy today. <laughs> Isn't this the group that we had before, though? No. Oh, yeah. It was, actually. It is, but I just need to place the bass notes slightly different and change the parameters on the kick. It's basically just the kick. Uh huh, okay. Make this red.
Bolero Conga, okay. That's odd, why don't I have that? Um, it should be in Latin percussion, yeah. Okay, then it should be maybe this guy here. Yeah. I don't like it repeating that much. Let's see if we could just work with the first little loop here.
kind of find some kind of phrasing here. green vibe here. Not sure if I like this vocal to be honest. I might switch it out for another phrase. So this one is Epiphanies. Let's see if there's another one that fits us better. Okay. Yeah. Then? Yeah, gotcha. One sitch.
again. Here, here. Thank you, Sage of Sound. Thank you very much. know what type of baseline I want like a really like a sound that you wouldn't expect to be a baseline um well you would expect to be a baseline but um kind of like off key type vibe like subby yeah let's see let's see let's see let's see man this this view is so annoying I don't know how to get it away like this library view but yeah let's just work with this modular icons didn't i have a preset for the modular icon saved like a sub base preset that i really like using yeah let's see So let's see if uh, Sting can give me something interesting. Interesting. <laughs> There's this newish type Sting that I haven't discovered yet. Well, it's not new, but I just haven't really used it yet. Let's see. A. And. Fuck yeah. <laughs> the cussing. <laughs> no, I kind of like it. Good. That one top loop is too loud. I think you mean the shakers. Yeah. the midi because sting has this thing that it sting has this sting <laughs> that it doesn't um 
save the MIDI once you reopen the project, which is really annoying. So I'm just going to resample that just in case into a new track. Yeah, it sounds like really minimal micro house. But if you lay that in the background of your tracks, it's, it sounds really nice and warm, like organic, all day I dream type bass line. I don't know if it's too speedy for me. Uh, let's decrease the density a bit. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, this modular icon sub bass preset thing is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm happy with this. movie vocal yeah something that'll just get us in a dreamy vibe here someone hi-hat that i don't like this one maybe add like an erosion to save it cowbell nah cowbell is a bit too penetrant for this vibe very good for afro but not what i'm looking for now thank you for the suggestion Something that I highly recommend, which is very under underrated, just save your presets. If you find something on a track that you like, just save the entire thing as a rack. For example, this guy here. Well, which one do I really like? Cube, for example. Just group this whole thing up like that. Save it as sparkly cube. Sparkly major cube. Ambient. And then I could reuse it or save it into my racks presets here.
Yeah, this piano we're gonna use in the break. save it but I'm gonna duplicate it because I'm not sure I feel like for vocals especially you need to spend some time before you find the right one Sit down again really quick. Okay. Let's see. I feel like I have the most important elements together to arrange the track. One of the last things that I'm missing is some kind of like lead melody or something. Might as well put in an ARP because I'm lazy today. Let's see. Let's go with the default ARP enabled live for now. Do want to get some arrangement going quickly. seem to like it when I use my own vocals. Let's see. What else could be interesting besides Maybe this guy does take a 
bit of time to load. That's kind of nice. Really cute vibe today. <laughs> Don't usually go for major, but the piano sound kind of directed it to in to a major track. vibe here. Da 
know what I mean? It's nice to meet you. Quite surreal, but nice. Used so many tracks. No, I have to find that vocal. I, I remember listening it to um, in one of uh, Iota's tracks or Iori. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere, like in the end of his tracks, he put that quote. And then here. Surreal, but yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Surreal, but surreal, but nice. Yeah. Okay, we got. Nice to meet you. Surreal, but nice. Uh, this is very weird. It's the sort of thing that happens in in dreams, not in real life. Oh, we got that annoying hi hat. <laughs> let's see if we could get it. Um, uh, let's record a new take here. This is very weird. It's the sort of thing that happens in in dreams, not in real life. Um, I mean, good dreams. It's, uh, it's a dream, in fact. Uh, See you again. Imagine somewhere in the world there's a man who's up for a kiss. Of... So what annoying that there's so much dream? going on. I suppose. <laughs> Hugging and a kiss and a nap? Dream. Dream scenario. I just uh, walk over and, uh, and kiss you. Kiss oh. the girl. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh. <laughs> Surreal. Surreal. Nice. Surreal, but nice. Okay, you want to come up? That's all we need. Um, Thanks, I'll just... Great. Just in case, you know, browsing time to buy. Right. That book's really... ...in your money. Very good. Yes? So... So I saw you put that book down your trousers. What can I say if I'm wrong about... No, wait a second. Oh, signed by the author, I see. Couldn't stop him if... Uh... Can I go out of Ah. Sure. Uh, in jail. Good one. Towards the end, probably, yeah? To my phone number. <sighs> Where was it? The quote. That's... Wrapping fish. That's a... None of those childish kebabs. Rufus. Excuse me. Yes. Uh. Yeah, I think we should be able to splice this vocal out. Let's see. I'm trying to get that out of the track. Um, 
So we're going to have to exit the full screen mode. See if we can chuck this in there. Never really done something like this before, to be honest. Let's see if we can make it work. This is very weird. It's the sort of thing that happens in the intro. <laughs> it's not warp it. Hyatt's probably going to get on our nerves, yeah. It's the perfect quote, but um, it needs some processing. Maybe Gregorian chants or hymns could work or something like a Latin prayer like that. Yeah, could work, but I feel like movie vocal today, honestly. Great suggestion, but I, I'm committed to making something work out of this now. Um, see if we can kind of can we just take it from ableton live and put it in here let's see uh okay or do i have to bounce it out before before i do that chuck it in here nope that does not this work uh okay then i'll just bounce it out sure why not i can do that let's make sure this we is bounce. very oops oh. Take just the vocal, maybe push up the gain a bit. This is very weird. It's the sort of thing that happens in, in dreams. Not and then bounce it out as MP3 on our desktop. Let's call it, it's surreal vocal. Yeah, let's see if we can kind of splice out the hi-hats and the annoying instrumentals and just get the vocal la 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 is supposed to be pretty good at that but i don't know if they require any kind of plan or some sort if i can do it for free let's see so desktop yeah i find like there's a lot of vocals online a lot of like vintage movie vocals but they're mostly sounding like pretty harsh aggressive and not not the right vibe I prefer just finding a way to chuck them out myself. Yeah. So, Gesang. Got the singing here. This is very weird. It's the sort of thing that happens in, in dreams, not in Perfect, yeah. real life. Um, I mean, good dreams. It's, uh... And do I get to download it now? Or do I have to... <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> Just gonna record this. <laughs> uh, I might get this later on, but for now, for the stream, I'm gonna have to re-splice it. So, yeah, let's go. This is very weird. It's the sort of thing that happens in in dreams, not in real life. Um, I mean, good dreams. It's uh, it's a dream, in fact. Uh, to see you again. Imagine somewhere in the world, there's a man who's a little bit kisser. What happens next in the dream? I suppose in the uh, dream, dream scenario, I just uh, walk over and uh, kiss the girl. It was nice to meet you. Oops, oh. <laughs> Surreal, but um, surreal, but nice. This is very weird. It's the sort of thing that happens in in dreams, not perfect. in perfect. Really perfect. Yeah, I discovered the software via an Instagram ad. It's really optional. There's a lot of audio interfaces that have the loopback feature that I think Gutter got mentioned or Nirmal, somebody mentioned at the beginning of the stream, or Audacity. There's a free DAW called Audacity, which allows you to record desktop audio as well. This is very weird. It's the sort of thing that happens in it. So let's give it a telephone effect first of all, like a band pass. Very weird. It's the sort of thing that happens in, the, in dreams, not in real life. I mean, it's a dream in fact. Uh, <laughs> you. I suppose in the uh, dream, dream scenario, I just uh, 
Foundry. Digital remix. Very good VST right. for uh, like chest separation. Acon I'll save it. Useful tools. Steuern. Okay. I'll look into that. Let me stand up again. On my back. This is very weird. It's the sort of thing that happens in a dream, sort of. so much i'm gonna be honest maybe we can take like a smaller snippet of the arp it's kind of okay i just want to get to arranging the track because i have everything together that i need this view i guess bunch of songs on this view put it here and uh, make sure to tune it down jeez <laughs> And let's go for synth, mono, Dolby, short. cheesy i don't know um i was thinking of uh, like a shorter phrase or something like that save the midi this is very weird it's the sort of thing that happens in a dream not in real life i mean good dreams it's, it's a dream in fact uh, see you again. i recommend birds rolling sampler if you have 25 dollars and I use it all the time for bouncing stuff to sample the samples of even the dream. It's only for Mac. Birds might sound the girl. Oh that already looks quite good, yeah. But it's for Windows as well, right? Nice. Standalone, BST3. And clap! <laughs> I'll look into all these. Thank you so much for suggesting. Su suggesting. Melody, and then we can get going with the arrangement. It's a dream, in fact. Uh, 
see you again. I really like the vocal. What happens next is a dream. It really brings the track to life. I suppose in the uh, dream, dream, dream scenario, I just uh, walk up and uh, kiss the girl. It was nice to meet you. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Surreal. Surreal. Yes. Take the scale, chuck it in here, and okay, MIDI input not working for some reason here. Kiss the girl. That's why. hits or when the bass comes back in something like that surreal 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 some interesting results here sequence loop system overload chord <laughs> sounds kind of like tantra piece of you <laughs> yeah mix sounds a bit more rough okay now it's just pan so oddly some kind of a chord Change the plucks on maybe.
Okay. Session is very unorganized, but that's okay. I'm just gonna uh, try to roughly create some kind of like. This is very weird. It's the sort of thing that happens in a dream. Okay, so what I want to do is. This is very weird. It's the sort of thing. This is very weird. It's the sort of thing that happens in a dream. Very weird. It's the sort of thing that happens in, in dreams, not in real life. I mean, good dreams. It's, it's a dream, in fact. Uh, see you again. What happens next is a dream. I suppose in the. Then baseline. I don't want to build back slowly with the drums or just straight into it. Let's try slowly. Jeez, this session has absolutely no color coding whatsoever, but I'm way too lazy today to set things up properly so i'm just gonna see whatever i can do here i'm just gonna some tops so we got eight bars and then after eight bars the big question we just chuck everything back in here or do we build it slowly that's the big question a 
Acon Digital. Mentioned the system audio bridge too. I think I understand what that is. Eight bars. Does that make sense? I don't know. Got eight. Let's just give it a listen, see how it feels. It's the sort of thing that happens in, in dreams, not in real life. I mean, good dreams. It's, uh, it's a dream, in fact, uh, to see you again. What happens next in the dream? I suppose in the uh, dream. Oh. <laughs> it's 
surreal. 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 Nice. Cheers to everyone who's still around. Laughing pretty woman. Yeah, I should probably do that. I'm most likely gonna end the stream very soon, so I might do that in private. This is very weird. It's the sort of thing that happens in, in dreams, not in real life. I mean, good dreams. It's, yeah. it's a dream, in fact. Uh, to see you again. Gotcha. Next in the dream. 
suppose that in the um, dream, dream scenario, I just uh, walk and plug and uh, kiss the girl. It was nice to meet you. Oh, <laughs> Surreal. Surreal. Nice, 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 Yeah, I think I'm gonna end it at this point. I feel like this could turn into a track that I might end up finishing later. It's too much for one session. Yeah, thank you everyone for tuning in today. Today was more of a relaxed type of stream, more mellow vibes. Definitely enjoyed the outcome, the result. Hope you did too. Thank you for every one of the suggestions. For everyone who joined in hope you'll have a nice day or a nice night depending on what time it is for you yeah thank you dreams, not in real life. I mean, good dreams. It's, uh, it's a dream, in fact, uh, to see you again. Imagine somewhere in the world there's a man who's a look like kiss. What happens next in the dream? I suppose in the uh, dream, dream scenario, I just uh, walk and plug and uh, kiss the girl. It was nice to meet you. <laughs> Surreal. Surreal. Thank you, everyone. I'll see you 
in one of the next